Tell you about Drax. Drax, um, I, I tell people that they need to know two, thing about, two things about Drax um, to really understand him. And, and the first thing is that he is a loving father and husband who is suffering from a lot of heartbreak. And he has channeled that heartbreak into rage <laughs> and revenge. And the other thing is that Drax um, takes everything very literally. So he literally will, will take everything you say very seriously. So it uh, just leads to a lot of uh, comedic moments. But if you know those two things, then you really kind of get an idea of who Drax is and, and you'll appreciate him. Um, well, <laughs> after, you know, after getting up in the morning, I mean, you know, it's a little caffeine, a lot of caffeine actually, because they're usually, you know, we're long nights, not much sleep. But uh, yeah, it was one of those things that became my routine to roll into the makeup trailer and, uh, you know, sit there for, or stand there <laughs> for, you know, next four or five hours with my makeup team. Uh, putting my Drax on and getting me together and turning me into Drax. Um, being here at the premiere in London is uh, absolutely insane. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't realize it. I was told that it was going to be smaller than the Hollywood premiere, and if this is smaller, you, you really can't tell. Uh, but yeah, it's as crazy as you would think it is. It's, it's a little overwhelming for someone like me, too, who's, you know, uh, basically pretty shy by nature. Uh, yeah, it's a bit insane. Um, the best experience on set, I think, was just really the interaction with you know the rest of the cast and, and director and the crew. Um, a lot of the crew, a lot of the makeup team, um, yeah, I, I, I became to get uh, became very close to, and they're uh, kind of really close friends now. But I think that's it, just the interaction, you know, with the cast. Especially, I spent so much time with uh, with uh, Chris Pratt and Zoe and, and Sean Gunn and James Gunn. So these guys are going to be my lifelong friends. And it's, I couldn't pick one moment. It was just I mean, this was six months of of every day just fun and fun and fun and more fun and just creative people being, you know, I mean, making a movie that's, it's incredible. I think, you know, it's, it's gonna be by far the biggest movie of the, of the summer. Sorry, I'm rambling, no, 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 <laughs> but great. I'm so excited about it. And uh, I'm really proud, I'm really proud of this film. Um, well, the way this all came about uh, initially was I had just taken on an agent, or I just got an agent to represent me, and it, which was hard to do. I, you know, I, I pounded the pavement for about three years after I left WWE. But uh, he sent me in for this audition, and he kind of got my hopes really low. <laughs> he said, There's, this is a real long shot. It's more Marvel. It's a huge film. There's a lot of names trying to get this. And so I went and auditioned uh, for Sarah Finn. And uh, surprisingly enough, she called me the same day and asked me if I'd stay in LA and come back and read for the director. So I came back and uh, met James and clicked with him right off the bat. I mean, just felt comfortable. and Just felt like I knew him, felt like he was a friend. And auditioned for him. And this went on for about three and a half months of auditioning and screen tests. And finally one day I got the call and then uh, you know, the rest is in Drax was born. <laughs>